Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Today, we're totally talking all the new Power Rangers, mostly Lightning Collection. There's going to be some Dino Fury in there. That was kind of their main draw to update and kind of talk about roughly the new season that's coming out, I believe, next Saturday. So you can check that out if you're a Power Rangers Dino Fury fan. But we're kind of here more to talk about toys and whatnot, especially for Power Rangers Lightning Collection, which I am a big fan of. Mostly Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, let's just be honest, and the monsters. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. But before we go any further, ask if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Daily news updates, action figure reviews, old ones, new ones. I guarantee you're going to find something here that you like. So to start it off, we had Emily from Product Marketing and Paul from Franchise Marketing Entertainment to talk about the new Power Rangers, kind of what they're doing with Super 7, most specifically. But we have seen this stuff before. They also talked about the Power Rangers Legacy Wars video game. They're adding the Red Ranger, Dino Fury, and then a helmetless ranger slayer as well so for those of you interested yeah you can definitely get that game if you like <laughs> the super 7 11 inch 9 poa super cyborg megazord is coming soon it's kind of like a clear body you can see the rangers up inside and they will be having a full color version later on in the year for those that are interested and then they showed off some more of the, the Power Rangers reaction. These are the three and three quarter inch figures. Other first wave, Reed Repulsa, Pudgy Pig, which <laughs> is pretty great. Megazord, the, it's, that's a fun line. If you're into that, or maybe, you know, if you've never collected Power Rangers before and you really like the old Star Wars and Super 7 three and three quarter inch figures, that yeah, might be right up your alley. But they only showed off, so far, the Green Ranger and the Red Ranger, and then they've already announced it, but Super 7 will be having a Ultimates line as well. They do that with the Ninja Turtles, Conan, Toxic Avenger. It, they also have Transformers coming. So they're doing a lot with Hasbro lately, which is kind of cool to see, to be quite honest with you. And then finally, they brought over Loretta from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection team, and she went on to show us wave nine but before that they had some really cheesy valentines <laughs> that they showed off this is kind of funny actually it, it's i like that they do they go the, like the extra mile to be corny there's not enough corniness left in this world so i appreciate i sphinx i'm in love with you that's <laughs> so dumb anyways the wave nine kicks off and this is actually just to i thought this was kind of interesting they did this entire wave completely from being quarantined at home. So meetings at home, designing at home, and <laughs> this looks like the best wave they've done. There's been some issues with capturing face portraits. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, this wave looks to be pretty solid. I got to give it to them. Hopefully it comes out on the shelves that way. But first up is the SPD Green Ranger. He's, it's in his first original form. They captured that sly smirk, snark, they said. They really wanted to bring that out. He comes with a Delta Morpher and a Delta Striker. Let me, let me know, that, you know, how is this Ranger? Is this a good solid choice? And do that for most of the Rangers in this wave, to be quite honest with you, because there's only one Mighty Morphin figure in this one. Next up is Carlos. The In Space Black Ranger, and he comes with a number of different accessories like his Lunar Lance and his Astro Blaster. And in traditional Power Rangers Lightning Collection fashion, he does come with a unmasked head as well. Next up is Kai Chen, the Galaxy's Blue Ranger. He comes with a saber, the dagger, cosmic claw. I, I'm, I think they said a little little effects piece as well unmasked head this character looks cool you know i gotta give it to him on that with these face portraits a lot more solid a lot more refined it looks like what they're supposed to look like like i said we, you know what i'm talking about and then finally the one that i'm most excited about i was like yes we got a mighty morphin just when i thought i could be done after i got that 
Green Ranger and the putty and everything else, the monsters towards Christmas. Yes, we're getting a Mighty Morphin Tenga Warrior. Now, I know this guy best from the Power Rangers movie, of course, the original Power Rangers movie. And then, yeah, he was, they, they switched out the putties for this guy as well. He looks great. It's, it's wild and weird that they're doing this guy. He's got this metallic dry brush. They pointed out some gold dry brush as well to give that reflective nature of the wings and the suits. I definitely remember that. So that's actually a nice little add-on that they went the extra mile to do. He's got beak articulation. He's got his effect piece. It's, I think it's a reused uh, lightning effect, actually. And then a uh, Tengu, Tenga egg. <laughs> Don't say, I always thought it was Tengu Warriors, Tenga Warriors. Anyways, he's actually a really large figure. I'm glad he fit that into the box. As you can see in the comparison pick, a little bit bigger than uh, than the Rangers, which I think, isn't that, I thought they were small, I thought they were more like putty sized. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in either case, I actually don't mind. The monsters can be bigger. It doesn't really matter to me, but he looks good. That's my favorite out of the bunch. The others look fantastic. Oh, also, by the way, he's got large wings and then small, like, tucked away wings that you can swap out as well. I thought that was a nice little touch. They then went on to bring out some more <laughs> Valentines. And then, of course, the one and only John Warden came out. Now, this guy... He was killing it on the Transformers team. If you haven't collected Transformers, you don't know what I'm talking about. It's amazing. They did a fantastic job. Some of the best Transformers that have ever come on. And then they went and put him on the Power Rangers line and subsequently the Ghostbusters lines as well. And you can start to see, you see a little bit of John Warden magic coming forth, I think, especially in this Wave 9. But he went on to talk about the new Dino Fury Zord Lynx. Now, this is going to be more of the, I would say, more basic kids toy line. It is for collectors if you want to do that route. But this, for me, it's interesting to kind of hear about it and see about it. A snap, split, create sort of thing. Imagination is key. There's going to be five Zords, three different packs. So the red comes by itself, pink and green, and then blue and black to create the Dino Fury Megazord, and you can do warrior mode, and then you can go crazy and do your own customizable mode, or you can kind of keep in line with other modes that are on the show. So it's pushing ergonomics, clutch power, customizability, free form building system, and I think for kids, that in particular will be a nice real draw for them, especially trying to get them into Power Rangers. And each of the heads are these keys, and they've got little sculpted rangers and knights inside. Take the key, and you, you can customize that if you want. You can swap out the heads, and then the heads, the keys, they go into the morpher, and then you morph, and then you become a Power Ranger. It's got different sound effects <laughs> and all that. It's wild to kind of say this all out loud, but it is cool, and especially, like I said, for the kids, that's a nice creative way to play with Power Rangers instead of just having it be one way, go crazy, go Mario Maker with your Power Ranger figures. So that's really going to wrap it up for all the new Power Ranger news for today. And if you are interested, depending on when you see this video, I will have links in the description below, mostly for Amazon Entertainment Earth, the companies I do recommend, and you can grab them and you can pre-order and they can show up at your door and hopefully nobody cancels and <laughs> ah, the problems with pre-orders these days. Anyways, again, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Power Rangers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if I don't talk with you, have a very awesome weekend and a happy Valentine's Day to you all. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.